Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Archie Luxury and today I want to share a very personal insight into my life. My mental health problems and consumerism. That's right guys, my mental health problems. Guys, you probably know me as the crazy eccentric Rolex and Patek Philippe collector. I also have a number of other vices. Guys. I want to share this with you and I want to tell you how my mental health has been buggered by constantly desiring more items. To give you an idea, guys, I'm talking Louis. I love leather goods. I love leather goods. You know what, guys? I can't help myself. I have owned three one, two, three. Three of these Adios briefcases. I own one, then I realize I don't need it. I sell it, and then I miss it and buy one, another one. Guys, how many briefcases does a man who makes YouTube videos really need? And then, guys, you know what? One wasn't enough. No, 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 no. One wasn't enough, Arch. Oh, no. That's not, that's not winner, winner, chicken, microwave dinner. Then I wanted a Presidente in monogram. The canvas. You know what, guys? I needed this. I lusted after this. I wanted one so badly, except I wanted stripes. I wanted my initials and I wanted art painted onto it. Art, art painted onto it. That's what I wanted, guys. So I had another one of these. And then, you know what? I tell you what, guys. I saw the Weezed. The Weezed bought the gold one. I had to get a gold briefcase for myself, except. I didn't want to be beaten by the wizard. I wanted a gold Presidente, presidential. I wanted a gold Presidente. Guys, I put myself into terrible financial position for leather goods. Guys, I went into one time, I ran into Fermagamo and bought this pair. They don't even I don't even wear ladies' shoes. I just wanted them to caress and have by my side Fermagamis, Fermagamos. I don't know what's wrong, guys. I got to tell you, my consumer, my mental health is all over the place. And I've gone, slipped into some credit card debt. I got to reduce, guys. I got to tell you, man. Constantly consuming is not the way to go. Do you want to endlessly consume? And what did I do? What did I do? Let me tell you what I did. So, what did I do? I prowl on eBay. I prowl on eBay. Um, I got to be honestly. I was prowling on eBay looking. Louis, I used to search Vuitton hard case, Vuitton Biston, Vuitton Elsa, Vuitton trunk, Vuitton president. That's what I did. And then I buy one. Then I want another one. Then I send one off for repair. And then I'm, I'm lusting, hoarding. I need more and more and more. You know what, guys? A credit card, I've only got one card, I'm at max. 10,000, 10 and a half thousand Aussie. 
My wife's, I paid it down last month. It's down to about six. I got the free, interest-free solar I'm paying off. It's down to about six and a bit, 6,000. I got the security screens from HUM. That's about six 6,000. And I got the freedom. There's no freedom. It should be called slavery furniture, not freedom furniture. 50 months interest-free should be called slavery. I thought buying these things would make me happy. It hasn't. Endlessly consuming. The more I consume, the more I want. I put it on card. I'm searching the interweb. I'm looking around for a deal. It was only when I realized I had Bear on the show. He's talking about what Rolex I should get next. And I told him the truth about good debt and bad debt and consumer credit. And he said, don't buy anything, Arch. You crazy. And he was exactly right. I've gone bonkers. I was ballistic. I went absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. How much luxury good stuff do a normal person need? It is crazy. How much luxury goods does a normal person need? You tell me what they need. What do they need for happiness and fulfillment in their life? What do you need? What do you need, guys? You tell me what do you need? Because I can tell you this now. I've done the pill. I've swallowed the pill. My collections, I've sold things off, reduced cards, then I feel missing inside. I started buying more things. And inevitably my eyes are bigger than my wallet or my Google Ads paycheck. And I used credit, consumer credit, consumer credit. Endlessly buying crap I don't need, guys. How many briefcases do I need when I don't even have an office job? What do I do for a living? I make videos on you, PooTube. PooTube, that's what I do, PooTube. And I got three briefcases. Why? And then, guys, I went to the Fermagamo store. I had to have a pair of glossy black. I needed a pair of these shoes. I don't know why. I don't know why I did this. This is just ridiculous consumerism. Why would you do that? I got to tell you, I didn't feel complete. I needed to get another paddock, another paddock, another paddock. And then I got it. I don't even wear the damn thing. I don't even wear the damn thing. Why? Because it's a paddock. It's dad delicate. It's fragile. It's not waterproof. Why did I buy it then? I don't know. I don't know why the hell I buy half this shit. Does it make me successful? Does it make me thinner? Does it make me swanky? Swanky wanky? Does it? I don't know, guys. You tell me. You tell me the story. Rolex or Paddock? I don't know what to say, guys. I got to tell you. My own mental health. I gotta tell you, I buy, consume. I've been consuming this stuff, buying it, and my own mental health. I stopped looking at watches. All I did was I moved to leather goods. I stopped buying watches. They were too expensive, too expensive. And then I moved to leather goods. Fleabay is my friend. Fleabay is my friend. Yes, the Fleabay. I sell, I buy, I don't sell, I buy. I buy on Fleabay. 
Flea Bay. That's where I go. Flea Bay. I'm going to do a search. As soon as I do this video, I'm going to look up Vuitton Trunk. Tell me what you think. Do I have enough? Do you reach a point and say, endlessly consuming isn't going to make you happy? The mental health, buying this stuff, and then you've got a small little euphoria, and then you've got to buy your next thing. Empty and loneliness in these luxury goods, guys. Luxury goods. Okay, guys, that's the show for today. I'm Archie Luxury. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments below. Check out my other channels. Elite Luxury, that was a disaster. My daily live stream channel, Archie Luxury live stream, and the Paul Pluto channel for paid watch reviews. Hey, guys, check out my one of my best friends, Jamie Opulence, on YouTube. Just go to Jamie Opulence. On YouTube, a fantastic travel, a fantastic channel from my good friend Jamie. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to introduce a new service to you. ValueYourWatch.com. Proud supporters of Archie Luxury. No sellers fees, no buyers fees. That's right, guys. This is a trading platform to buy or sell watches. You can. Start selling for free. That's right. Uh, we advertise our paying for, for our paying sub subscribers on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It's a global platform. That's right, guys. Get fifty dollars off the annual subscription by applying the coupon Archie when you check in there. But guys, you can try this for free straight away. Guys, you can start listing watches. ValueYourWatch.com. Give it a try and tell me what you guys think of that. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.